these Premier League predictions to work out how they were so profitable for so long. Brentford finished 13th last season, whereas Man United dropped to 6th from 2nd. Can anyone have predicted that? Now recently an email hit my inbox with Michael Owen endorsing Footy Stats premium predictions. On first glance it seemed a little bit too good to be true, and I'm aware that Owen's got a history of endorsing just about anything for the right price, so I wanted to dig deeper. Footy Stats boasts money making predictions, profitable competitions an array of filters to help you zero in on the highest return on investment for your bets. Looking at the landing page, it's hard not to be impressed with all the statistics and figures. Could this really help me predict the Premier League winners? I was intrigued and there was only one way to find out, by paying for the Premier League predictions and signing up myself. It's not what I expected, so I'll explain what I found and leave you to make up your own mind. I even placed a few predictions of my own on the way. I'll share those in just a moment. So I signed up for Footy Stats Premium on the 24th of August and paid $19.99. Now I anticipated recording these predictions over an extended period of time and then analyzing the data. Although things changed a little bit around about 30 minutes after I signed up when I see what was going on with these predictions. To the untrained eye, it's not that obvious, so I'll explain. Now Footy Stats has two main core offerings to their website. They have the historical data side in the past where you can peruse through previous information and they have the prediction side looking into the future to estimate what is most likely to happen with football matches. Now, I can't fault the historical data side. There's a huge range there. There's many different filters. You can find absolutely anything that you want if you drill down enough and you know which filters to use. Be it both teams to score, unders, overs, and many other metrics. They've even got a mobile app on the Play Store. Now, this is not a sponsored review, um, but I do recommend using their historical data. I think it's very good. I think the way they've built the platform to filter out all those different elements is truly amazing. However, the problems start when we start to look at the prediction element because the prediction side of things is split down between users' predictions using their internal coin system and also their statistical models and automated modeling predictions. So looking first of all at the users with the virtual coins. I placed a few of my own predictions using these virtual coins. We'll look at the results in just a second. I placed them on the Premier League only, but after a short period of time, I was highly profitable. You'll see why in just a second. Now the statistical modeling side of things was also equally impressive because it shows you what their models predict the percentage lines should be in terms of predictions going forward and compare that to an odds feed to show you the value difference between the two. Quite clearly, the people behind footy stats understand value betting. They understand how money is made in football betting. Although when you take a look at the margins, it isn't all that believable. You can see that there's huge profit margins available in line with their statistical differences here on the screen. Now, there's a very good reason for this, which also is a big problem for Footy Stats and really ruins the prediction element from my perspective. It also helped me get a 67% return on my own predictions with my virtual coins. You see, I am a profitable tipster over on Footy Stats now. I'll let you in on the picks and why I chose them in just a second, but this kind of stuff isn't really that expected when it comes to Premier League predictions. You may have seen previous videos where we talk about lower leagues and side markets. You'd expect to see it there, but this is because Footy Stats betting odds are actually incorrect in their fees. The benchmark that they're measuring their predictions against is incorrect in an overwhelming amount of instances. So let's take a look at these predictions that I placed one by one. First of all, we've got Chelsea v Leicester, over 4.5 goals where I staked 100 coins. The footy stats price was down at 1.2, but if you look at the Betfair Sportsbook price, it was only 1.13, meaning that there's only a payout difference of seven coins on this particular bet in terms of value. But that's a big difference when you consider that the overall return is 54% more than the actual would-be return over on Betfair Sportsbook. In terms of probability, there's a 5.2% difference between those two odds. Next match, Southampton v United on the away win, backed Man United for 2.16 over on the footy stats price with 100 coins, when the actual would-be price was 1.75, meaning a total payout difference of 41 coins for that particular bet. A return increase of 55 
5% on the 1.75 that you would have got with Betfair Sportsbook. So it's not that hard to see over the space of many different bets. Accumulating this additional value each time is what allows these particular prediction makers over on Footy Stats to end up with some wild return on investment results. Whereas in reality, you just can't get those odds over on the Betfair Sportsbook, something that I suspect that Footy Stats creators are probably fully aware of. And of course, those people with the huge results. Let's skim through the rest of these bets here to see the differences. Brighton v Leeds, over 2.5 goals, 1.91 with Footy Stats, 1.80 on the Betfair Sportsbook. Liverpool v Bournemouth, under 4.5 goals, a massive 1.38 on Footy Stats, where it was 1.29 in reality. Arsenal v Fulham, over 2.5 goals for 100 coins. Footy Stats price, 1.6. Betfair Sportsbook price only 1.4. Another return difference of 50%. Man City v Crystal Palace. We back the draw for 100 coins at 9.5 on footy stats when it was only available at 7.5 over on the Sportsbook. A whopping 200 coin difference in terms of overall return. And finally, Brentford v Everton. We back the draw. It was inevitable. Footy stats price 3.8. Whereas Betfair Sportsbook were only offering 3.5. A total payout difference of 30 coins and return increase of 12%. Picking standout prices that just aren't attainable is an age old trick from tipsters that has happened over many, many years. We'll probably not stop into the future. I appreciate Footy Stats have got a hard job there with all the data and filters that they're already providing. But for that reason, I've decided to unsubscribe from Footy Stats predictions shortly after creating those predictions there. I'd recommend Footy Stats for historical data, but not for predictions, because nobody can predict the future. Although the good news is, you really don't need to, as I proved with this profitable over under football betting strategy video in the end screen. It really works and anyone can do it, so check it out now. Thanks a lot, I'll see you next time.